Number 41, letter A. By how many percent is the torque of a motor decreased if its permanent magnets lose 5% of their strength? So we need to know a relation between torque and, and, and magnetic field strength, essentially. So here it is. Here's the formula that the torque uh, will equal the uh, number of loops multiplied by the current multiplied by the cross-sectional area by the then magnetic field sine of theta. Okay, so I'm really, none of this stuff is really important at all. The only thing that's important is the relationship between the torque and the magnetic field strength. So here I'm going to change my little torque because I don't like that. Um, and that should basically be proportional to, so I'll write something like this, proportional to the magnetic field strength. So if the magnetic field strength goes down by whatever, if it goes down by half, then the torque goes down by half. If the magnetic field goes up by two, then the 2% then the torque will go up by 2%, okay? So if the magnet loses 5%, then what happens to the torque? It loses 5%, okay? It's as simple as that. Now, letter B. How many percent would the current need to be increased to return the torque to its original values? All right, so um, to answer this question, we have to now, let's make some assumptions. All right, let's assume the original magnetic field was 100. Let's assume then that the uh, original torque would also be then uh, 100. All right, let's just, let's, you know, let's just make that assumption. So we'll call this one and one. Then let's say what's going to happen is that the magnetic field now, excuse me, I wrote torque, but now let's assume that the magnetic field goes down by 5%. So in other words, what's 5% of 100? Obviously that's five. And if it goes down then by five units, this would become 95, right? Hopefully that makes sense. The torque would then also become 95 as well, right? Because they're exactly proportional. And if they were equal, then these have to be equal to one another relatively. Now the question is this, okay? The question is now, how much would it take to bring now, it doesn't matter which value you choose, all right? Um, how much would it take now for the current? And the current, if you notice here in the formula, I know I canceled it out, but it's also directly proportional. So how much would it take to get this torque now back up to its original value if the current were to be increased, right? And the current here has to, if you notice, it's directly proportional, right? No, no, using the formula over here, you see it's directly proportional, just like B was as well. So in other words, if you started at 95, by what percent do you have to increase 95 by now to get to 100? So it works out this way, right? Just ask yourself the, you know, you can just basically, you're going to say 95 times what value gives me 100? Divide out now 95 from both sides. And what you realize is that you're going to get 100, 100 divided by 95. So that works out to be about 1.0526, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So this is how many times you would have to increase the um, current, but it wants to know percent. So remember, in order to take this, how many, this factor, essentially, how many times the uh, torque had to be increased by and turn it into a percent, what we're going to do is we're going to take that factor of 1.0526, subtract one from it, and then multiply it by 100, right? We've discussed that plenty of times in the past. So this would be 5.26%, and that takes care of that. All right, guys, so thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.